happy day, I'm glad. And today we're gonna put ourselves to the test. This is a quiz I found that shows you a bunch of different toys. And if you don't remember or know what these toys are, then you might be too young. Or maybe I might be too old. What if like I recognize all of these toys, but like none of you do? That would be super weird. Right now we're gonna start out easy. What is this thing? Is it a super soaker? A super squirter? A soaker squirter? Or a squirter soaker? I think that these answers are kind of not very good because obviously it's a super soaker, right? Like it just sounds the best. Mom, can you take me to buy a super squirter, please? Like, I don't think any kid ever did that, but like this particular model, I have been shot in the face with this so many times. You unscrew the little top part, you fill it with water, cold water from the hose, and you spray little screaming girls in the face. This was my life back in the day. It's a super soaker. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, okay, I'm gonna be so disappointed if you guys don't know what this thing is. It's iconic. It's so iconic that we have to watch the commercial right now. Okay, so. <laughs> Everyone I feel who's like, a lot of like the Gen Z people I know are very spoiled because like, this is how we had fun. <laughs> Back in 1998. Hey, wanna play Boppet? Cool. It commands you obey. Boppet. <laughs> Twist it. Can you believe we bought a toy that just goes, okay, hit this. All right, twist this, pull this. And like, oh, everyone button, wanted battery one. Included. Battery's not included, thank you for that. That's really convenient. Like, mom, dad, can you buy me a thing that I can, twist and pull and smack, please. It's obviously, it's not a slap it, it's not a tap it, it's a bop it. Although pull it should have been one of these answers because it's like right here, like pull it, <laughs> bop it. <laughs> what about these? Oh, jeez. Do you think that they would make these anymore? Like these are basically boxing gloves. You put them on and you just beat the crap out of your friends and your mom's like, well, it's okay because they're like super padded. Rock 'em sock 'ems, sock 'em rock 'ems, soccer boppers or puncher crunchers. Crunchers? Okay, I don't think that that would be. I thought that these were called sock 'em boppers, not soccer boppers. Sock 'em boppers, sock. Okay, it's soccer. I was wrong. More fun day. Soccer boppers. Soccer boppers. Sock all day. And pop, pop all night. night. Soccer boppers. Soccer boppers. Soccer boppers. Soccer boppers. More, More fun, fun than a pillow fight. fight. How do I remember that? It's blow them up. Put your blow hands up, inside. Your hand inside. Get, Get ready, ready to have the time, time of your life. life. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so. Soccer boppers. It's soccer boppers. What the frick? No, it's de right. It's definitely soccer boppers. Yeah. No, but it's soccer boppers. Like, that's the name. What? Yeah, it's like, is this one of those things where, like, all of us kids, like, experienced something different than what actually happened? Because, like, everyone you would talk to is like soccer boppers. Soccer boppers! Soccer boppers! So fun! I don't know why, like, a lot of this stuff, like, I don't remember the advertising, but with this, like, this was a very successful campaign because I know every word and I haven't seen it since. Forever, I haven't seen it in like a decade. <laughs> oh, okay, so I feel like everyone, regardless of age, knows for a fact that this is a Tamagotchi. This is one of the toys that like, when I heard that like you could have like a little pet, like a little digital pet and you could take it to school and it could be like the coolest thing that you like feed and you clean his poo and you, you just like take care of him and he grows up. I was so excited, but I will say that I did find this to be quite overrated. Wait, don't wait, Terry, we have a Tamagotchi. Yeah. Will you bring it to me? Get me my Tamagotchi! Okay, so the Tamagotchi company gave this to me for free. Wait, can you like zoom in on this? Oh, look how cute it is. It is the perfect color. When I was a little kid, I got a, I think that my sister got like the see-through purple one and I got like the leopard one and I really liked the leopard one, but like either they're making these smaller now or I'm bigger. No, I it's just, definitely a mini one. Really? Yeah. Like it's so Does bright. it say mini on it? Here, let me turn this off. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see. Ah! So cute. Okay, so we got a Tamagotchi up in here. Yeah. Okay, everyone wanted to own one of these ovens. What kind of oven is this? You gotta know, you have to know. This is so iconic. Although I did get one of these for my birthday once. I think my sister got it actually, and I just like bummed off of her and used it, but like you can bake your own little cakes in here. <gasps> 
Like how fun is a toy where you can make your own cakes? Or your parents could just teach you how to use the oven, but maybe this is like when you were too young. Let's bake with a new Easy Bake Ultimate Oven. New Easy Bake, yeah, uh, it's the one yeah. for you. Cakes and cookies, baking with friends. Yeah. Make more, bake more. It's Easy Bake. Oh my. I feel like just like this and like mom, mom keeping an eye on it, but she doesn't have to because it's like, you're not gonna burn your house down with an easy bake oven. But like the way these two girls smile at each other is like so early 2000. Wait, this is like a 2011 commercial though. Like let's check out, let's check out some 90s, some 90s vibes. We'll oh. Right oh, 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 it takes me, it's like a time machine. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so this is the commercial that I saw. We're making something new with Easy Bake. I can bake a real cake. Yes, you can, girl. Wait till you see what I can make. M&M's cakes. They're so fun to do. M&M's colors and colors for you. And stuff from home, too. Oh, my goodness. It gives me anxiety. Like, how bad everything is. Like, the shot, the framing, the music, everything. But... We wanted one of these. We wanted an Easy Bake Oven, not a peewee pastry oven, are you nuts? What? Okay, comments. What is this? Surely, surely you know what this is. I'm not trying to be like all like the wrong generation or like gatekeeping you guys or anything, but like surely you have to know what, these, <laughs> what this thing is. And it's not that I ever asked for one of these, but I always got them as presents, always. Shelly's dream house, hmm? Polly Pocket, Pocket Pearl, or Clam Shelly. Clam Shelly? This one isn't even a clam. This is a Polly Pocket, and I loved mine. Not because I liked any of this. It, it was too small and constricted to play with, and I preferred to play with paper dolls so I could like create more of my own stuff. But like, I kept all of my gummy bears in this thing, all of them and I loved it. And when I was like really, really small, like too small to know right from wrong, I wanted to have a pet ant, and I put my pet ant in the Polly Pocket for like a few days, and then when I opened the Polly Pocket after, like the ant was not, like he was not, he was alive, but he wasn't sane. Like he was like, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> like, and I think I realized for the first time that like, you can't, you can't do that. You just can't, it's a Polly Pocket. This thing had a name, but what is it? So basically the idea behind this is, I'll just show you. This is the idea. The idea is you kind of just like, I, like I never liked these. Maybe I just like wasn't coordinated enough for these, but I definitely remember little girls using them. And also like, why would you bring this thing to school? Like that's like a lot to like carry around. She's a skip it. Do you remember? This toy was originally a prop in a famous movie before they turned into a real thing. What is it? I don't know what this thing is. This might have been before my time. I don't know. Harriet the Spy Jurassic Park Toy Story or Home Alone? Is it Home Alone? I feel like that's, I, I feel like I could picture like the Home Alone boy using this. I can't get one of these. Oh, I was gonna say like, I can't get one of these wrong. Like I'm a 90s kid. I need to know all of this. I don't know what these things are either. I think I'll know if I look at the name, but like, I remember these things. And I, I had a, like, you just couldn't escape these things. They were everywhere. And it's not that they were fun to play with, but like, whenever you saw one, you were like, can I touch it? And so that was like the beauty of what sold these things. A rubber star, a koosh ball, a boosh ball, or a hair ball. Now it kind of looks like a hair ball, but is it a boosh ball? It's gotta be a koosh ball. Rubber star makes too much sense. It's not like old school branding. I'm gonna go with Koosh Ball. Yeah! Oh my god, it's so good! What about this? Now back in the day, I mean everyone calls it like slime now, but I like to call this stuff goo. Or like ooze. I had a lot of fun with that. But what is this? Ooze? It's got like these little beads in it. Gak ooze bead putty or floam? Floam? Bead putty? I just don't- like, I would want to call it bead putty. Did you guys ever have like silly putty growing up? Like I know that everybody had Play-Doh, but like silly putty was like pretty cool. And I was a big fan of that stuff and how it came in like a little peanut. Wait, let me. Don't tell me I remember it being a lot more vivid than this. Like, ew. Long story short, silly putty was cool. I think that this is flown. Oh my goodness. 
It's so weird when you remember stuff that you just don't remember remembering. But also like Gak, like obviously I'm not gonna pick that. What toy came inside this orange case? Do you know? I'm gonna give you some time. Very important. Hmm? What was it? I think we can all tell from the colors. Ooh, I was gonna say Lego, but I feel like connects. I don't remember what connects are, but I think it was connects. Yeah! Oh my goodness! Connects, what are they? Connects. Oh yeah. Oh, I remember. <laughs> this is so cute because like it was totally for nerds. It's such a cool and creative thing to give your kid. Like build some crazy stuff. Yo, I want to see like the coolest connects thing anyone ever made because that is a really cool thing and I never had any of these because I feel like if I got them I just be I wouldn't even know where to start I'm not a very like visual architectural person so I was more of like a Lego person but even with Lego you can really lose your mind what are these I don't know what these are I've never seen them but this looks very much like Allison Stoner like this has to be Allison Stoner wait let me see let's, let's see if she's like in like shoes no? Okay. Well, I think that's Allison Stoner. But, um, what are they? Bounce boots, fly flops, moon shoes, or super slippers? I think that, like, I mean, there's a moon on them, so they gotta be moon shoes. Boom! What is this dog called? Now, these dogs, like, I saw commercials of these dogs, and, like, they seemed pretty cool. But, actually, let me show you, like, quickly, like, what a commercial of these dogs were. I think that they were called Poochie. So yeah, I saw this commercial, I'm pretty sure, in 2001. Up next in the world's smartest dog show. <laughs> so creepy. My dog's gonna win. Punk, bulldog breath, smartest pooch in the pack. Super pooch bulldog breath. Your voice. Can't Max believe that does burn. what you say. Uh, Sit. Good dog. Sit. And only Super Poochie. Lay down, please lay down. Lay down. Recognizes you and interacts with Poochie too. So like it was very um, futuristic and stuff, but still I didn't want one because it just seemed like it couldn't do much, you know? <laughs> like sit, lay down, woohoo. I liked Furbies because it felt like, it, it felt a lot more like interactive. Like you could talk to them. Like you could enjoy their company. So look how creepy these things are, and I wanted one. Like, like this is like a horror film. Look at this. Whoa! Yikes! So cute. And you could like put your finger in his little mouth and like press on his tongue and he'll be like, yum! Like it's as if you fed him. And if you covered your Furby in dark light for long enough, he would go to sleep. I don't know if it would go to sleep because you left it alone, but I really believed that the dark, like it had sensors back then, which it might have. But this guy's obviously a poochie. What were you supposed to do to this Elmo? Come on, let's get real. Obviously, hug it, dance with it, throw it. <laughs> you tickle it, then you throw it. It's Tickle Me Elmo. What about these? These also, very cool. I feel like in the 90s, early 2000s, they really aced the toys that looked so cool in commercials, but then you got it and you realized it was a piece of crap. It was a piece of garbage plastic. Cause like you would, you would fire this girl off like a few times and then you'd be like, I'm bored. And she can't stand up on her own two legs. Like she's not even as good as a Barbie, but I would say that these were spin witches. I don't think so. These are sky dancers. You would do the old ring, ding, ding, ding. And they go flying up and they just like, break the ceiling fan. What company made this flashlight? I'm not even gonna look and I'm gonna say Fisher Price. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay, I got too cocky. <laughs> I got way too cocky. Play school, I don't remember that at all, but I remember like these flashlights being everywhere. And I remember when it was like the year 2000, like we were like all freaking out about the millennium and we were like, running around our uh, basement with like flashlights flashing at each other because a lot of people were like, oh no, like all the power is gonna go out. The internet's gonna go out. We're all gonna go out. Like a lot of people thought it was gonna be the end of the world and I was dancing around with my flashlight. And I was like, as long as I have my flashlight, my Game Boy, 
My N64, hopefully there's power for that. I'm gonna be okay. What is this? Oh, I remember the commercial, but I don't remember what it's called. Basically this bear, it comes with special markers and you could draw on the bear and then throw him in the wash and he would come out clean again. So you could like have your creativity. Denim friends, doodle bears. I think it might be a doodle bear. Clean again friends, okay, no, or flare bears. I'm gonna say doodle bears. Boom, got him. And these, <gasps> These are so me. <laughs> these are so like, these were all the rage. And people collected them because they believed that these would be really expensive one day, like that their value would go up. Now I wasn't a collector of these. I just bought the ones that I liked and I played with them all the time. I had like a Beanie Baby Flamingo and that thing went with me everywhere. My dog ripped its leg off, but I still loved it just the same. Beanie Babies, boom. Obviously they're not Cabbage Patch Kids, you drunk. What was this called? I don't know. I've I've seen, I seen them. I seen them. I saw these in my childhood, but I don't know what they are. Mimic me, copycat. Yak back or qu quip whip. I don't think it's a mimic me, because you say it and then it plays. So it's either, I think it's a yak back. Yeah! But that's just like me going, okay, like you say it and then you play it so it yaks back at you through the speaker, right? Okay, last one. Name this toy. It looks like a microphone. I remember a lot of my friends like had these and I didn't have one. So like I made a toilet paper microphone that I would like sing into and pretend that I was Baby Spice. An Echo Star, an Echo Mic, a Sing King, or a Superstar Mic. Echo Star? No. Oh, it's an Echo Mic. Oh, that's what I was gonna say next! Ah! You got 18 out of 20 right. You are between 25 and 35. You scored better than 96% of quiz takers. It's so interesting how like we all grow up in these different eras, you know, and some of the stuff overlaps. Like a lot of like younger people are like, yeah, SpongeBob, like Zoe 101. And I'm like, yeah, like that was my stuff too. But like these particular toys, I feel, you have to be from a certain generation, a certain like window to really have experienced this, but like it really did feel like a golden age. Let me know how many of these that you knew the name of. I'm super interested and like, let me know if you think that these toys are dope or if you think that these are just super weird and I'm weird for thinking that they were cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.